Hey, my name is Dennis. Uh, this is my 1965 Ford Falcon Club Wagon. I acquired it about two and a half years ago as an eBay purchase, believe it or not. Um, I've actually, new to vanning, um, learned about the culture and the activities and the fellowship surrounding it about three or four years ago and got involved uh, just recently. Uh, this is my first van event, actually, officially. I've had the van for about two and a half years and it's actually just started to be functional in about the past two and a half months. Um, originally these vans were actually built as passenger vans, um, different from the commercial version of the 60s Econoline van. The uh, unique trim here uh, is one of the st distinguishing factors that made it uh, identifiable as a passenger van. Um, it used to have seats in it at one point in time. Right now I'm kind of using it as a, a surf wagon to an extent and um, it functions for a lot of the uses that I need around my house and uh, also uh, for short trips and this is its first major trip of about uh, 125 miles uh, to get to this event right here. It does have its original paint and I'm kind of embracing the patina. Um, my intent for the future of the vehicle is to fix some of the rust holes and the serious cancer but um, since I live close to the coast, um, I tend to just brush it down and uh, probably clear coat it to preserve it. A little bit more about the vehicle. Um, it pretty much is in its original shape and form, um, aside from the engine. Um, it has now an inline six 200 in there. Um, we can take a quick peek at that if we want. Also the, the staple, if you will, for the uh, early generation Mustangs before the 289 came out, as far as I understand it. Um, rebuilt um, and you know I can cruise on the highway 65 miles an hour and um, do just fine. Got my original vinyl there with uh, a couple of the characteristic holes that have developed over the years and covered that with some nice uh, piece sticker duct tape. Thought it kind of went with the motif if you will, kind of embracing the van, some of the vanning culture aspects. And back here I've does have the original vinyl in there and as you can see the seats are no longer with it um, for the functions of an event like this it's great I can just throw an air mattress back here and uh, not worry about pitching a tent and uh, I'm good to go safe from the elements and it's comfortable access is great with the dual doors both uh, on the side and the back and like I said uh, for uh, going to the beach and coming to events like this it's worked out real well for me um, Works great for doing some extracurricular activities with the yard and gardening and stuff like that as well. As far as my uh, future plans go, um, I'm probably going to do it up a little bit tiki style. So um, I might embrace some um, uh, wood maybe, um, either on the floor or on the sides, and um, maybe do some type of uh, grass covering or something of that nature on the ceiling. And uh, a few other accents that are uh, I guess coastal related and kind of go from there. But other than that, I'm just kind of embrace the way it's uh, aged over time and try to preserve it and then continue enjoying events and use it as a purposeful vehicle for my lifestyle.